Hello, it's Joe at the workbench, and I wanted to share a little tip for people with 3D printers uh, talking about the build surface. A lot of people already know this, but in case you didn't, the build surface where you print is very important, and the, the, a lot of people like to have uh, Kapton. Uh, Kapton's good, but sometimes it's not. A lot of people like to have blue tape, and blue tape is really good for stick, not so good for relief. The best surface I've found is a heated build platform a, gla a piece of glass and Aquanet hairspray, the cheap stuff. I'm kind of running out of that. I'm going to have to get some more. The reason why this works so well is because of the state change. Even if you're printing in P PLA, you should heat up your build platform to about 60 degrees centigrade. And then when it cools, while it's printing, the print will stick to it like mad. And when it cools, the print will release. And that's great. A lot of people think that, okay, well, all you have to do is just go, and there we go, we got hairspray on the build platform. No, no, that's not right. You want a nice, thick layer of that hairspray polymer on there sticking good. So you want to put a lot of hairspray on there. Not done yet. Turn it around. Put more on there. When do you know when you're done? When your plate looks like it's just a piece of glass again. When you've got so much hairspray on there that it's soaked. Then you take it, put it down. Ooh, see, I missed a corner. Take it, put it down on a level surface and let it cool or let it dry. Uh, it'll take an hour or two to dry like this. You can alternatively put it on your heated build plate, warm up your heated build plate and you know, cook it on there, and that'll allow it to dry in about 15 minutes, but I'm doing a print. And the brilliant thing is, if you have a, a piece of glass, you can take the glass off the build plate, let it cool while you put another piece of glass on there and start your next print immediately. Letting it cool is important though. If you try and pry the plate off, while the, or try to pry the print off, pui! If you try to pry the print off, wow, while the plate is still hot, it will be so sticky. I have broken glass plates that way. It pulls off a piece of the glass with it. So don't do that. Maybe I need stronger glass. These glass plates are specially made. They're made by Bottle Works. I have the Bottle Works upgrade here. They have little magnets that hold them in place. You don't need to get that fancy. Just a piece of glass and some 3D printed clips. You can make your own clips, custom make them so that they're just a little bit smaller so that they stretch out and will hold on there so that you can hold them on and then take them off and, and move them around. You've printed your own upgrades. A lot of people also use these uh, dragon clips to do it with, these big fat uh, clips. I find that these are so strong that they warp the glass, that they bend it, and they get hot. So you can't, you still got to wait for your build plate to cool before you can take them off unless you want to put like some sort of silicone end on here. It's not worth it. My thought, forget these guys, 3D print a clip that's, you'll measure it how big you want. Oh, and the other thing is, remember to level your build plate because uh, uh, the glass, the, the hairspray does put uh, a little bit thicker on there. Oh, and I forgot to mention, two coats. Let it dry, put another coat on there maybe three coats some people want to put three coats on there me i just i just put two on there and then i touch it up every once in a while whenever i see that maybe it's getting a bit thin and then the other thing is when this gets nasty after a couple of months and this lasts for months after a couple of months you might see oh, it's time to clean it off it's real simple just soak this plate or let hot water run over it and then scrape it off. I have this little tool that I like to use. It's a painter's tool. You can get it at any hardware store. It's got a it's got a perfect little edge for scraping things off. Helps to remove prints from the build platform. It's got a sharp edge that can be used like a a blade to do some cutting to remove the uh, you know fine details or clean up. It's also got this little rounded area. And I don't know what this was built for, but for me it works to whack prints off the plate if they're really stuck. But again, don't do that until the print is cool. Uh, if you got a tall print, you can just give it a little tap with the edge of this thing. And this little this little circle, for some reason, works great for me. And maybe I'm just finding a, use, uh, a reason to use it. But never mind. I love this tool. I recommend getting one of these. I love my glass 
plate and hairspray, I recommend using that. If you don't have a heated build plate, if you don't have a heated build plate, it doesn't work. I've heard a lot of people say that they use a glue stick and that they squish it down with a glue stick and that that works. So you could give it a try, but I'm a little bit concerned because it doesn't have that state change. So it doesn't have the hold and release that you want. It might hold real good, might not release real good, might not hold real good, might release pretty good. But if you don't have a heated build platform, give it a try and let me know in the comments what works for you. Uh, thank you again for watching. I hope that this has helped some people. I hope that this has helped you. Uh, I hope that you will like, share, and subscribe because I hear that that helps me. And But uh, more than that, I hope that you'll visit my blog, 3D Joe's 3D Printing Workbench. Uh, no, it's Joe's 3D Workbench. I've had the wrong one up there the whole time. <clears throat> no wonder it filled up the entire board. I rejected that name. It's Joe's 3D Workbench. Go visit it. Go check out my offline adventures. Uh, blogspot.com, or not offline, off YouTube adventures. I better stop talking before I make too big a fool of myself. Thank you for watching.